Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Tool Talk. I'm your host, Mark the Window Cleaner. This show brought to you by windowcleaningresource.com. Well, today I want to talk to you about what to do when you have a tool that you've bought for your window cleaning business and you end up not liking it. Uh, it can be anything, but in this particular case, I'm going to share one of my experiences with you. Back when I first started my business several years ago, the very first professional window cleaning pole I bought was this pole right here, which is a Pro Curve. It's got a uh, fiberglass base, it's nine foot sections, so you got three sections. You got the fiberglass, and then the middle section is aluminum, and top section is aluminum. That basically gives you a 27 foot pole, great for doing two stories. You might get the odd three story, but uh, you know, pretty much guaranteed for two stories. Now, I tried this on a few jobs right from the get go. I didn't care for it. You know what? I was thinking at the time, you know, because I didn't have any long ladders at the, at the time. So this, you know, having this curve here would be great for getting over ledges. I'd be able to do high windows without having to worry about getting a ladder out. Um, you know, having this curve on the end is great for some scenarios. Other scenarios, uh, not so much. In fact, I'd prefer to create the angle of my tools by how I hold the pole, not not by how the pole is shaped. And you know, that's just one of the things that I had issues that I had with it. The other one was that the uh, the pole tip that comes with the Pro Curve really only fits their tool as well. Uh, throw any other tool on there, like an Adderay or an Unger product, and quite often I had the tools fall off because it's just, it just wasn't the right size. So I ended up uh, taking that pole tip off and putting on an Unger tip, and I had to screw it into place in that. I was able to work with it a little bit better, but eventually I said, ah, forget it, and I went out and I got an Unger Teleplus pole. Well, just recently, I mean, here, let's fast forward now to 2012, um, Many of you know I've gotten into waterfed pole work, and you know I always remembered Alex from WCR saying that the Pro Curve would make a great do-it-yourself waterfed pole because it's got that almost like a gooseneck built into it with the you know having the curve at the end. So that's basically what I've done here. I, I've just taken a Unger Euro thread adapter, which normally goes on the end of an Unger pole, and I just placed it inside here because the diameter of the tubing is a little bit bigger. I had to screw this uh, pole tip in place. And now I'm basically all set up to have a, two, a great two-story and fairly light water-fed pole. And, you know, any, uh, any brush with a Euro adapter, always combination here, will work. And, uh, you know, like I said, you got this uh, already this built, built-in gooseneck here. Then you got the additional gooseneck that, you know, you get with the water-fed pole conversion kit. Great two-story pole, get over deep ledges. And, you know, like I said, it was a situation where I had a pole that I didn't care too much for. It was mostly sitting in storage. And uh, now I'm pulling it out, and I'm, I'm finding that it's uh, working out pretty good. As you can see, the bottom here, this fiberglass section, is really, really quite thin. So this pole is, like, super light already to begin with. And uh, so I guess the point of my video is for, for many of us, we're going to go out there, we're going to buy some tools, and then we're going to find out they don't quite work the way that we were hoping they're going to be. Maybe we uh, we just stick it in the garage someplace, throw it up in the attic, uh, give it away to another window cleaner, try to sell it on eBay, what have you. Um, but you know what? Sometimes you got to just go back and take a look at that tool and say, "Gee, how could I get some good use out of it?" You know, I didn't quite work out the way I wanted to to in the beginning. But what can what can we do to it? And this is just one simple thing. Just by changing that adapter, I've I've changed the purpose of this pole. It's working out great. Anyway, that's all I have to talk about this. Uh, I'll just leave you with a couple of little video snippets of me using this pole on a job. Um, and you can see, it works out pretty good. Okay, bye for now.